Papo in the hijack. He's looking down at the aces and doing quite an acting job here. Anton King Ten of Diamonds on the button. Expect he'll call this bet 2.5 million. That's the button. Very playable hand. Sam in the big five deuce off. It's not a hand he's going to want to continue with. If Papo were deeper, he may use this as a pre-flop bluff. But any three bet would commit him to Papo. So he will let it go. As these two go heads up to a queen, nine, six, two diamond board. So Papo's red aces look pretty good, but Anton has flopped a lot of outs. Jack or diamond would give him the lead. I would, but I don't want to touch it with my. No, that's fine. That's fine. So the cards are the map. Yeah. Come on. Come on. Come on. This is so good. <laughs> I'm taking another one. Yeah. Two point five million the bet from Papo. So good. If I get offered three EV, especially from. Um, I think given the situation with this bubble looming, so like raise would be the like best play. play. have a little bit more follow-up to you than he might usually. But he is electing to use position, just flat, play the turn. Good turn for Papo. No danger with three of clubs. That cannot have improved Anton's hand. time chip on this one, deciding how much to bet with 13 million in the pot. He will bet. It's quite a connected board against the button's peeling range. Doesn't want to give a free card and certainly get caught by many a worse hand. Easy to bet here in Jam River, called by some Queen X's. Oh, that beat means another time chip going away, but I, I believe they get refreshed with 16 left, so... Each time chip worth 30 seconds extension. I think tanking this long and then betting would appear very strong. Wow, another one going into the mix. I don't see Papo taking this long in betting weak hands. Easy to say that when I can see the cards. time chip. Again, I'm not sure maybe this is just a ploy, but if he loses this pot, there's more chance of him making the top 15 and getting that C. I think we're a little too far away for that to happen. We need two bust outs in this hand. <laughs> Sounds like he's resigned to the fact of moving all in. Okay. 
Three, two, one. This is just burning all these time chips for that reason. Might seem odd. Sorry. It's like a picnic over here. People are going to tune in. They're going to be like, what, is the time on the picture table? I don't know, perhaps there may have been a bust out on one of the outer right. tables that the guys know about that we haven't seen yet, which would mean that Check. there are just 16 left. Perhaps that's why he's doing this. He eventually he does check, which I find kind of surprising. I think uh, he wouldn't do this with no hand. I think he would just save those time chips and he can use them later on and do exactly the same thing. <laughs> <laughs> Unless it is, of course, 16 left. And this will be the last hand before the redraw. And uh, Anton does move all in. Papo will take up to the 30 seconds and then call. He'll be in great shape to double up on this feature table. There you go. Anton knows he's getting called. He's just going to wait to the last possible second. There is the call. Well, Anton has the hand to take it on with. A combo draw against Papo's aces. 54 million chip pot. We saw him win the celebrity show match. Getting aces a couple of times. Can they hold up from again on this feature table? Oh, a red card, but a six pair in the board. Means he's up to 54 million. Anton down to 64. 